Oh, what's up guys back out at the range today um, a few years ago I bought the Ruger American Ranch in 762 by 39 and it's been an awesome rifle uh, it's small you know compact and lightweight and very accurate even with cheap ammo I liked it so much that I even went out and bought the uh, Ruger American Predator in 308 and that gun's been awesome too so figured why not go ahead and get the 450 Bushmaster so this is the 16 inch Ruger American Ranch and 450 Bushmaster uh, the barrels free floated um, the other two I got the barrel was touching the uh, stock when I first got them I had to dremel them out this one's actually free floated so that's pretty good uh, I did put in a new trigger spring the M carbo trigger spring I think it's like 12 or 13 bucks uh, off the M carbo website I bought three of them actually put one in every gun I checked the trigger pull before and it was around four pounds and with the M carbo trigger it's around two or two and a half so definitely cuts back on the trigger pull weight we'll just go ahead and test it out and see how it does so we're going to start off with the uh, federal power shock 300 grain jacketed hollow point then we'll try the hornady black uh, 250 grain ftx after that we will try the winchester 260 grain power point and then last we'll try this uh, hsm bear load this is a uh, 300 grain jacketed flat point it says so we're gonna try all these out see how they group I'm only gonna shoot three shots because it's hot out here also I've got the chronograph set up uh, I don't have the camera on it but I'll uh, put in the video the speeds of these each bullet all right here we go guys first up we got the uh, 300 grain federal jacketed hollow point Well, that ammo is definitely not accurate. Hopefully, one of these others does better than that. We'll see. All right, next up, we got the Hornady Black 250 grain FTX. Looks like a pretty good group. Alright guys, I was going to show y'all real quick what I've been using to cool off the barrel. Um, I got this pump, which I think is for like air mattresses, sticking the point in the barrel the best I can and pumping it. It blows air on the up and the down stroke, so it puts out quite a bit of air and cools it off pretty quick. I really don't have any idea where I got this from. Probably a garage sale or something like that. I have no idea, but it works pretty good. Alright, next up we got the Winchester PowerPoint 260 grain. Wow, so far the Hornady's winning pretty easily. All right guys, last one. It's the uh, HSM bear load, the 300 grain jacketed flat point. All right, well, there you go, guys. The Hornady Black wins again. Uh, in the 762 by 39 the Hornady Black did the best out of that gun also. So they shot right at a one-inch group for those three shots. The uh, HSM bear load did a 2.2-inch group. Um, I need to shoot it a little bit more. It could do better, possibly. The second and third shots were right next to each other, pretty much touching. The first shot could have been the cold barrel, or it could have been that I just pulled it. I don't know. The Winchester and the Federal, no good. I'm just going to shoot those for target practice and get rid of them. And uh, from here on out, this is what I'm going to run in this gun for hunting and everything. I like the load, I like the round, and uh, I like the speed of it. So, anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.